In this video number two of OpenCV, we are going to read an image and then display the image in a color format. So we are going to use import CV. For those who are watching this video directly, please go to the video number one, which is explaining an introduction about OpenCV. Here in video number two, we are going to read the image as I mentioned before. Use OpenCV, import OpenCV import cv2 now this is how to load a color image in grayscale or color so if you put one in this command which is image i'm declaring a variable image cv2 dot im read my python dot png comma one so there is a file known as my python dot png in my working directory and then one is for color so if you use one or you can also use i am read color so cv2 dot i am read color but instead of that you can just put one or cv2 dot i am read grayscale or you just can put zero so one and zero can be for color and for grayscale now, if you do this and run it, the window is going to just pop up and close off. So you have to do cv2 dot im show. That means image show. This would be the name of the window, my image. And then img is the variable which has read the image in. Now, in order for the pop up window to hold, I'm using this cv2 dot wait key zero that means it's gonna wait indefinitely till it gets any keystroke so if you hit any of the keystroke from your keyboard this image is gonna close but for now unless and until you hit any keystroke cv2 dot wait key is gonna wait indefinitely to hold that image in the video in the in the pop-up window and finally You will use cv2 dot destroy all windows in order to kill the windows or kill the any of the programming windows which are which you have open so cv2 wait key and cv2 destroy all windows are used so i'll just run this and you can see that image of python has been read and then just click on any button and it's gonna close. So this is the basic of how to read an image. Now let me read a grayscale image. All I wanna do is make this one as zero. And I'm gonna... So it's a grayscale image which has been uploaded. So one is for color, zero is for grayscale I'm going to modify this now to save the image as some other file so I'm going to read as my python dot png and I'm going to say new image python dot jpg so let's do that I'm going to just write image one dot cv2 dot i am right i am right is gonna write the image in the same working directory and i'm gonna just say new image new my python new python dot jpg so let's run this and in the next i'll just in a few minutes i'm just gonna show you so i have read and then this has been written let me show you in the directory you can see here that the mypython.png was the original image and then the new image is newpython.jpg. So that's how you would read an image and save it. Now I can read back this image, the new python image. And I'm gonna read it in color, sorry, grayscale. And then I'm gonna show. 
so this is going to be new image so please take a look at the name of the window and then i'm going to do a wait key here as well so what it's going to do is it's going to wait for the first image to show and then the next time the image two will show so image two is going to read as new python in a grayscale and then the name of the window will change and then obviously the wait key let's run it so this is my image and then i'm going to press any key and you can see new image so my image is because of this one and new image is because of this one so that's how you you have seen that how to read images and write images into a location